Hello and welcome to my review of the Velotaris Storm section for Solar Auxilia for Warhammer the Horus Heresy from Games Workshop. One of these sets will cost you £37 and consists of 184 plastic components and 10 25mm round bases along with a Solar Auxilia infantry transfer sheet containing 152 water slide transfers. It's a multi-part plastic kit. It's a multi-part plastic kit that builds a Velotaris storm section of 10 Velotarii. They can be equipped with Volkite chargers or two-handed storm axes and you can mix and match the weapons and the arms with any of them. So the format of this review uh, is as normal. I'll go through uh, each one of these models individually, we'll have a look at them, go through how easy they were to build. Then I'll take a look at the spare parts, of which you do get quite a large amount of spare parts. After that, uh, we'll look at some size comparisons with other Solar Auxilio units and of course some Space Marines. And then finally at the end, I'll go through all of their rules. Now you probably noticed I have built them with the Volkite Chargers. I built the Hermes uh, Sentinel Squadron with Volkite Culverins as well. I guess I'm kind of going for like either Volkite or high powered weaponry for my Solar Auxilia, which is what they need really if they're going up against Space Marines um, predominantly. So let's have a look at these minis up close then. So although these are new models and a new kit, the rules are not new. Um, they've been around since the release of the Liebe Imperium army book, which was first published in 2022. Uh, you've got the normal Velatarii, and then you've got a Velatarii Prime. Uh, that's kind of like their sergeant. And here he is. So this is the Velatarii Prime. I've equipped mine with some kind of power sword or sabre and a plasma pistol. Looks fine. Um, not really any issues. The only thing to distinguish him, though, is uh, this sort of plume and a different optics. And, of course, the weapons of a, uh, of a Prime. But the armor itself is exactly the same as the other Velatarii. Um, even this power plant is the same. The GoPro lens thing is the same. Um, it's just the weapons and the head. Then I've gone for a Vexilla here, which is kind of like a, a standard. Again, the only thing differentiating is this Vexilla itself. Then I've also gone uh, full circle with a Vox interlock. That's what I think I'm assuming this this thing is. And actually this Vox interlock um, has a different um, helmet with this extra antenna thing and the uh, sight speaker lens, I don't know, this speaker thing is on there as well. Um, so they're the three sort of unique models in this uh, set. Uh, apart from them, you've just got your standard uh, Velatarii, uh, which have the, the Volkite chargers. They're all very similar, um, you know, walking forwards, not running. It would have been nice to have, you know, one or two of them running rather than just standing there or walking. And also I think uh, the weapon poses are just terrible. Um, I would have liked to have had them aiming. Another point I want to make is the heads. You can't pose them. They're, they've got this plug and socket. Yes, you could cut the plug off, but the neck for each one of these is kind of molded for, you know, for, for a helmet. Um, so although the helmets are all the same, the head will only face one way because the neck is, is molded as such, um, which is a shame. I mean, you know, that's the two things I would have liked to, about, like to have had in this kit is posability options. And you don't, you're really kind of like, this is close to monopose as you can possibly get. Um, the only other thing that, that um, would have made it completely monopose is if you couldn't swap the, the weapon arms, you know, the weapon that's connected to the arms off and put it on every, every different one of them. And you can do that, you can interchange them, but the helmets are all the same, but the heads are all the same and they all face the direction that you, the neck seal wants them to face. It's a little bit of a potluck as to, you know, which neck and direction fits with which weapon. And like I said, I would have preferred them actually aiming down their weapons, firing their weapons rather than standing about or just walking forward holding them. Um, you know, they are an elite section. I want to see them in action and um, they're not. They're sort of just walking forward. Maybe, you know, the posing is just carried on the shoulders of this prime 
because he does all the posing for the whole whole unit. A bit of a shame in terms of the posability and things. So uh, let's get on to the spare parts. Uh, now this is a section of the review where you won't be um, disappointed with. Right here, here are all the spare parts and it mainly consists of the, I think 10, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten storm axes. Um, if you didn't want to go for these, uh, these are these uh, double-handed um, power axes. Uh, I, I don't get the extra bar there. Maybe it's for protection um, for the hands. That sort of works, but these just seem very big and cumbersome. Um, you know, for for these uh, infantry to wield. Um, you know, I, I can imagine other units and things with power swords just running through them and blitzing them when they're, they're stuck with these these very heavy um, two-handed uh, weapons. Uh, you've got a power fist here for the prime, you've got another um, vexilla, because basically you're getting five uh, in this set and then it's just duplicated. So that's why I've got another um, saber. You've got this quite cool um, sword that's been taken out of the sheath. It's a different one than the saber. Uh, you've got this little axe which looks tiny um, compared to you know the storm axes and things but I guess it would sort of go if you didn't equip your prime with uh, with a, one of the storm axes. Uh, another power fist. Um, the different uh, pistols. I went for the plasma pistol but you can also have a hand flamer, a needle pistol, needler and that's it. Uh, oh, and a las pistol as well. Um, and then I've got a spare Volkite uh, weapon out of all this because obviously I didn't give it to the Prime, but you know, you've got an extra head. Um, it's important to note that you can't make these in a, in a unit of five, you have to make them in a unit of 10, um, but you can have, uh, you know, 20 in, in a unit. So that's all the spare parts, quite a lot but um, not sure whether you could use them. Maybe the pistols and the swords and things, possibly for your other Sol Auxilia LAS rifle uh, or command squad uh, units. You could probably use those parts, so pretty useful in that sense. Size comparisons then. Um, first off, I'll just give you a size comparison with a, a LAS rifle um, Sol Auxilia um, right here. Um, gonna be exactly the same height. Um, there's just differences in the armor and armor plating. The Velatarii, Looks like he's uh, heavily armoured. Um, got less of a gorget though, but a better helmet, I think. Better um, leg armour panelling. Um, same power plant, exactly. Um, similar number of pouches and things. A bigger butt armour plate. Um, but yeah, if you've got blast rifles, they're going to... They're gonna go very well with them anyway. Um, next to another one of, of their kin, I guess, uh, the the Hermes um, Velataris Sentinel, right here. You know, same helmet, although you probably can't see it, same armor plates and things. So they're gonna work well with those, uh, those Velataris uh, Sentinels. And then just compared to a tank, uh, one of the Solar Auxilia tanks, Lehman Russ Strike Tank, that's where they stand next to those. They'll work well with, with all the tanks. I've got the Malkador here as well. Um, so hope that helps. Compared to some Space Marines then, uh, so we've got the Mark III on the left and a Mark VI on the right. Let's just give you an idea. Fair comparison. Fair bit bigger, the old Space Marines. And compared to Mark VI. So yeah, you'll have a nice uh, size difference if you're going up against Space Marines there. Pretty good. And then compared to some 40K miniatures, we have a normal Space Marine, Primaris and Sly Marbo. So a normal Space Marine is still bigger than them by about a foot, which is nice. Uh, Sly Marbo is pretty much the same size. And then a Primaris is, yeah, a good couple of feet taller which works out as well. So I hope those comparisons have helped with some, you know, 40k minis. Okay, so this is my part of the review where I will go through all of the rules for the Sol Auxilia Velataris Storm section. Like I said at the start, um, they're not a new unit uh, rules-wise, but they are a new uh, kit. So you'll find them in the Liber Imperium Army book. 
under the elite section and they will cost you 90 points. Their stat line reads for the Velatarii is a movement of six inches, weapon skill four, ballistic skill four, strength three, toughness three, one wound, initiative four, one attack, leadership six, and a save of four plus. The Velatarii Prime has the same stat line but had but has an extra attack at two and a leadership of seven. The unit composition is one Velatarii Prime and nine Velatarii. War gear, Volkite Charger, Reinforced Void Armor, Frag Grenades, Crack Grenades, Unit Type, Velatarii Prime, Infantry, Heavy Character, Velatarii, Infantry, Heavy, Special Rules, Tertio, Dedicated Transport, and Velataris Storm Section of no more than 10 models may take an Aurochs Transport as a Dedicated Transport, or any unit of any size may take a Dracosan Armor Transport as a Dedicated Transport. As a Dedicated Transport, this does not use up an additional force organization slot, but its points cost must still be paid for as part of the army. You may include up to 10 additional Velatarii at eight points per model. It's kind of worth doing, uh, it does save you a little bit of points. You know, it means you can get another 10 for 80 points as opposed to 90. And I would definitely recommend that um, because 10 just, just isn't enough. Um, yeah, they're a bit on the pricey side at 90 points uh, for the 10. But um, yeah, survivability, you know, with the toughness three and the, the one wound, you really want uh, 20 of them. One Velatarii in the unit may be upgraded to have a Vox Interlock at five points. One may be upgraded to have a Auxilia Ve Vexilla at five points. Any Velatarii in the unit may exchange their Volkite Charger for a Storm Axe at five points each. So that means that any of them can just, you know, have the Storm Axes. The Velatarii Prime may exchange their Reinforced Void, arm void Armor for heavy void armor for 10 points the velatarii prime may exchange their volkite charger for the following blast pistol and close combat weapon for free may exchange the blast pistol for one of the following needle pistol for free hand flamer for free or plasma pistol for five points and the prime may exchange a close combat weapon for one of the following a charnable weapon at five points a power weapon for five storm axe for five or a power fist for ten so there you go um you know, they only have one attack each, uh, which is one of the reasons why I probably wouldn't give them uh, those Storm Axes. They are quite squidgy at Toughness 3. Uh, the Storm Axe does help with that and bumps it up to Strength 5, and it does give them AP 2, uh, but it is unwieldy, two-handed, but it is Murderous Strike 6+. plus. So if you want, uh, you know, some cheeky little... Uh, Solar Auxilia with Murderous Strike weapons, then this is your go-to squad if you equip them with the Storm Axes. It's very strange that, that, you know, kind of like Power Axes, these particular Power Axes have the ability to kill things in one go, um, you know, and they're, they're, and if they don't, then it's still armor penetration of two. But it is still cool uh, that Solar Auxilia have that unit that have Murderous Strike weapons. Uh, the charnable weapon uh, for the prime um, is the strength of the user which is three it's breaching five plus and it's duelist's edge needle pistol is a range 12 strength two poison three plus um, the hand flamers and the plasma pistols work as usual uh, you know you've got your power weapons your storm axes and power fists uh, but their default weapon that they're all equipped with is those volkite chargers and they are only a 15 inch range weapon. It's a strength five, AP five, assault two, deflag rate. So if you've got 10 of them, you know, technically you're gonna have nine of them equipped with it. You are getting 18 strength five shots, but they are pretty close range at 15 inches. Again, it's almost like they're let down by their weapons. The Storm Axes are good, don't get me wrong, uh, but you've only got one attack each with them for those murderous strikes. I've gone for the Volkite, not because you're getting more attacks, just because it goes better with uh, the theme of Volkite and Plasma um, for a, an auxiliary unit attached to Dark Angel, for me in my case. What do you guys think of the Velataris Storm section? Do you like the models? Uh, do you think the rules should be better? Um, they're a bit survivable with a save of 4+, plus, and they have better weapon skills and ballistic skills than your typical Solar Auxilia, but you're going to have to get them in close range and you know they can't deep strike. So that means putting them in one of those Aurochs transports, which isn't available in plastic, or putting them in a big Dracosan transport, um, which is a lot of points for just like 10 of them. Then you're gonna have to deliver them. They're gonna have to survive all the way to the, um, to the front, either 15 inches away or in close combat range um, with those Storm Axes. 
please do put your thoughts and opinions down below. It'd be good to hear from you. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.